your avocado here. Yesterday, I went to Jersey, New Jersey, and I went to three farms. So I picked up long pots and uh, peppers. Tomorrow I'm gonna um, make some fresh tomato sauce. But today, we, we roasted some peppers and we peeled them. And this is why you go to the farm, because you get the good red bell peppers. And this is a recipe that I did at August Restaurant for 14 years. It literally was probably the biggest um, appetizer on the menu besides my artichoke. So I just wanted to show you how to do that, beans I was making them for dinner. Tonight I'm just making a simple roasted chicken. I got it in the oven. I'm making this dish here, which is, it's influenced by my friend Nina. She was the only one that I knew that did long hots in tomato sauce. What she did was she, she would put diced tomatoes in them. I used cherry because I didn't have dice. I did buy dice so I can do it more like Nina, but so that's just, I put a clove of garlic in there and then I took it out. I just flavored the oil. Then I added the peppers, there's six peppers in there. A little bit of the cherry tomatoes from Italy. So we got that cooking, a little salt and pepper, some parsley, and that's going to be delicious. And those peppers are so hot, I couldn't eat. And along the side, I also have um, an heirloom tomato salad that I made because they had these um, tomatoes. Maria showed them those tomatoes. One's bruised, you could say. <laughs> Well, the reason why they're bruised is because if you bought the, the flat of the heirlooms, they were $30 a flat. But for $5 a flat, you bought the ones that may have had a little bruise here and there. So far, I have not got one wasted tomato. I gave my nephew three last night. I made a tomato salad last night. I made one tonight. And you can see how many I have left. $5 heirloom tomatoes, okay? So, I got a clove of garlic in here. I'm going to turn that off for one minute. I don't want it to burn anymore. I have one clove of garlic. Like I tell you, always do what you want, but don't overpower. So I would say one clove of now, garlic. Now this is the um, recipe for the August roasted peppers that we did for like 14 years, okay? So I'm gonna put these in. I'm gonna guess this is probably about, well, it looks like one, two, maybe, maybe three peppers. And that is definitely enough garlic for that. So we're gonna put our gas on. And you don't have to cook them high, you don't have to cook them low, you cook them wherever you want. You get to the gas, you turn them on. I'm gonna turn my long hot sauce, they're done. And there, this also is getting like, this is about a teaspoon of rinsed paper. You want them right in there, in the oil. And a fresh basil. Basil, you don't have to chop it up. Um, one thing we have to put in, that makes this dish is an anchovy. Now, you can put in as many as you want, but I'm just going to use one. You want to put it in the oil, move that in over, because you want it to start to dissolve in the oil. Now, normally I put that anchovy in first, but I want to tell you the truth. I forgot to put it in first, and then I put it in now. Doesn't matter, you make a little hole and put the anchovy. But you'll see that that's going to dissolve. Look, you can see already, it's going away. Look, look at that. There's no more anchovy, no more. So now what you got here is flavored oil. I don't like the choice of it's so much oil. But you want that much oil because I guarantee you, this is the kind of thing you dip your bread in. And I always finish it with aged alfiazza. So I have fresh pork too, okay? Whenever I go to the farm, you know, I come back and I have all fresh things and I'm not lucky enough to get every day. So, the peppers are already soft, soft from, you know, roasting them. I roast them in a hot oven, 450 degrees, no oil, nothing. Just lay them out on a sheet pan or baking sheet, whatever you have. Put your oven at 450, preheat it, put these in, takes about maybe 40 minutes. When you see that skin starting to blister, maybe more, I don't know, it depends on your oven. Put them in a bowl and then cover it with some plastic wrap. And then about 20 minutes later when they start to cool down, you take them 
a part. So look, you can see this is finished, okay? I'm gonna just move that around, get all that anchovy in there. Anchovy form, anchovy form. You like anchovies? Put two, put three. This is an old Roman recipe. This is an old Roman recipe that we have made literally for at least 40 years, me and Maria. We used to make it in our apartment, in our house all the time, and that's why it, it, all our friends loved it, and so we put it on the menu. But I've never seen anybody else serve roasted peppers hot. If you do, your friends are gonna love it. So I'm gonna turn this off, I'm gonna plate it, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna finish it. Okay, we're gonna plate it. Just make it nice on a pretty plate. That's about the serving, maybe a little bit more that we serve that August as an appetizer. When you make this for your friends, get a lot of good Italian bread, because you're gonna need it. Look at that oil, okay? Just look at that oil, how pretty. So, I'm using an aged Tuscan cheese tonight, and I'm just gonna shave some on top. I used to use, like I said, aged Asiago, and it was incredible, but this cheese is so good. It's like one of our favorite cheese. It's a Tuscan cheese, and it's done in a Syrah wine. So good. And you put as much cheese as you want, of course, but you don't want, whoopsie, you don't want too much. And I cut the piece too small, so it's a little hard to handle. So I think that's enough. I'm gonna get a napkin and clean this up. Okay, so you can see how beautiful this is, and when you taste it, you're gonna love it. And if you're an anchovy lover, you're gonna love it even more. This is the dish. It's roasted red peppers with capers. And if you like the video, please share it. If you make it, please send, send me photos. Let me know. I think you're gonna like it, and your friends are gonna love it. Well, everybody out there, stay safe and cheers.